Hello my friends. It's kind of a gloomy rainy day outside today so I'm going to take this time to put, take my uh, sweet grass that I picked and uh, braid it and this will be for later use. I'll braid it and then it'll dry. It's been a few days. Uh, it's still moist so it's still very pliable and uh, it'll make real good braids. And if you ever wonder why it's called sweet grass, all you need to do is smell this grass. It really has a uh, wonderful uh, sweet smell to it. So very easy reason why they named it sweet grass. Well let me show you how you get started here. When you harvest your sweet grass it's best to keep all the ends on one side for when it comes time to do the braiding. Makes it a lot easier. You want the stem end to be bundled and then braid the leaf end. Yeah, here my sweet grass. It's a little bit shorter than what it should have been, but the deer came through and ate the tops, clipped it down. So I took the harvest. Uh, it's in the fall. I, I cut it now and uh, we're going to use it and dry it and use it for smudging. Now the Native Americans, this is uh, one of their most important uh, smudging herbs. And the way you braid this, first of all, how much should you put into a bundle? Well, we want to start with, with the, uh, the stock ends. Well, with the bundle, um, what you're going to do is you take approximately, because mine are cut short, uh, traditionally what is done is you take, you have three braids and each braid contains seven strands of grass. And the, the reason seven is it's uh, in honoring the seven grandfathers. And uh, what the grandfathers are, I'm not going to count. What the grandfathers are, if you're not familiar with the teachings of the seven grandfathers, is uh, uh, love, uh, respect, truth, wisdom, honesty, courage, and humility. So that's why there's seven. So each bundle will contain seven and then three bundles. Okay, so we get the seven or three bundles together, get the ends even, and then we tie it off and just take a strand of the grass, loop it, and make a knot. Now the uh, grass is considered feminine. It's considered the heir of Mother Earth. So, and then when you do the braid, you have the the uh, seven in each bundle, and the three bundles represent the mind, the body and the spirit. So when you braid, they would repeat mind, then body, and then spirit. And you want to make the braids tight, and for when this is burning, it'll hold together during its burning. And you continue the braiding till you get to the very end. I think most people know how to braid. Take the outside one over the center, then the opposite outside over the center. You keep doing this outside over center, alternate, outside over the center. As you get further down towards the end, it starts getting a lot thinner, but you want to continue braiding. And 
until you really can't do any more. Then take this end and tie a knot. This will lock the braids together right like that. And there is a perfect braid for smudging. Now we're just going to let this dry and do the rest of the basket of sweet grass. And this is highly prized by a lot of people. And I, I'm doing it here on a blanket on my floor because all the little pieces I'm going to pick up and braid in with the bundles so I can use it all because I have a lot of real short pieces in here. And we start at the end, wrap the end with the grass, tie it off. Now when sweet grass, when you pick it, the sweet grass is a flat blade. And you can use this to make turkey calls by putting it between your two thumbs and you blow into it. Well, anyway, we played with as a kid with that all the time. Um, when it dries, it dries and the stems curl. And uh, it's used a lot of times when it curls, it makes really nice baskets. So that's one way you could tell that you do have sweet grass, and plus the smell. The smell, it's very sweet, and as it dries, it curls. Again, we take our bundle of our 21 strands and start braiding mind, body, spirit as you braid. Tie that tail end off into a knot and that holds your holds your braid together. Here's what I got from the basket of sweet grass. Quite a few braids and all we need to do now is let it dry and we're ready to smudge. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.